What's going on? Today we're going to talk about time is the only luxury. That's right, time. And I'm going to explain it to you and put it in a manner that hopefully will give you a sense of urgency. Because many people are wasting time on some things that really don't matter. If this is your first time here, this is Glennon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is talk about how to get money, primarily through entrepreneurship, hustling, a little bit about passive income. We talk about how to get money, how to keep money, how to stack money, and how to protect money. So if you want to be part of that, do me a solid. Go below and get your free resources that will teach you how to make some money, a gift from me to you. Now. Don't just download them and let them sit or don't pay attention. What you want to do is go ahead and apply the information so you can make yourself some money. So with that, let me make sure that I am on. <clears throat> I want to talk about why you should take time as a luxury. One of the biggest things that we have is our time. Hold on a second. I want to um, get rid of something. I'll be right back. I'm not going away too long. Okay. I just had to get rid of that. <clears throat> Fortunately, it was all the way on the other side of the room. Time is your only luxury. And one of, <laughs> this is funny. Oh, it got much lighter in here. Uh, one of the, the greatest things we have is time. When we're born, we think that we have a lot of it. But that's not really the case because as we become older, then time, the, the sand that's left in the, in the hourglass is reduced. I am 52 years old, so I am either at the top of the mountain or I'm over the mountain because people are living to be 90 to 100. But that's where I'm at. And I am thankful that I made the best use of my time because time is the only luxury we can have. And luxury is something that is sweet, sublime, and important and it's so good. Many of you look at your time as something to throw away. I'll give you an example. There are many of you, you're not living the life that you want to live, right? But what do you do with your time? You you play video games. Or you go out and take a vacation from doing nothing. Everybody has 24 hours in one day. Everybody has seven days a week. Everybody has 28 to 31 days per month, and everybody has 365 days in the year. Ed over here doesn't get a 10-day work week, and John over here doesn't get 30 hours per day. Why do, more, why do some people do more with their 24 hours than someone who... Who, who just get the most bang out of their buck, the most bang out of their time. Number one is focus. There are a certain group of people who focus. When I really focus, I get massive dividends out of my time. I can work 12 hours, and that can be like someone else working 40, or it can be someone else like working 50, because many people don't work. You might literally, and this is something else, and I want everyone to do this. I want you to keep a journal of your activities. Like whenever my money gets funny or money stops coming in the way that I want to, all I have to do is go back and look into my activity level, and I can find that part, that point in time where I was not doing what I needed to do. Because here's another thing. The investment, 
The investments you make today earn money tomorrow. So if you're not making investments here, there will be no money here. And this is such a hard thing for many people to wrap their heads around because it requires delayed gratification. Let's take losing weight. I talked about this on my other channel. I am in the fourth year of my weight loss journey. I used to be 330 pounds. I'm 260 now. That's like 70 pounds and I got another 20. But once again, it took me three years to get here. You know why it took me three years? Because I studied it. I saw that a lot of people would lose weight and they would gain it back because your body has what's called a set point. So when you lose a lot of weight really quickly, your body is fighting to get back to that weight. So it's very easy for you to eat the wrong thing and then put on the pounds again. But when you lose it and keep it off, then lose it and keep it off, the results are more permanent. This is not getting ready for the summer. This is getting ready for the rest of my life. Now, part of that is the result. The result I want is, and I'm, I'm getting there because uh, I think I got a picture and someone else took this picture. I didn't know it was being taken. And I was just um, kind of chilling, right? All right, uh, <laughs> I need photos. I don't know why you're gonna hear. Here we go. So let's see. All right. Let me bring it up. Okay. And that's me. Last time I was on the beach, I had a gut. I had a serious gut. I looked like I was nine months pregnant. And I realized that because the thing is, it's so slow that I didn't realize that my frame is, you know, the, the pot belly, the big potluck biscuit belly is gone. I still have some fat around here, but I don't have the Dunlap's disease. And part of that is focus over a period of time. This time is the only luxury we have. When you go ahead, hold on a second. Ah. Dedicate yourself to building something, to creating something without a regard of immediate payoff that frees you. Because when I sat down and I was like, okay, I got to do this because typically there's going to be backsliding, right? Whether you're losing weight, starting a business, saving money, there's, there's going to be backsliding. Your habits are so strong that they're going to mess you up. They're going to create a problem. So a big thing that you have to do is take time out of the equation. That's one of the biggest things you have to do. Take time out of the equation and in that space, put focus. Because there's so many things that happen in that space because starting a business, you got 24 hours in the day. Now, you could take eight hours of that day and work on your business. This is what most people want to do. They want to go to their job, put in their eight to 12 hours there, then come home and half step on their business. If you know, someone gave me some advice years and years ago, and it was very true. I was working on my business, right? And uh, they said, if you're working on your business the way you said you were, you would be working on your business 12, 15, 16 hours a day. Because I was really half stepping. Had a job, go work my job, put most of my energy, most of my time into my job, then come home, work two, three hours, take Black Planet breaks. And when I completely got rid of the Black Planet, and this is when I stopped watching a lot of television, I just cut television out. I started to make more moves in a month than I did in six months. I was focused, I had a list of priorities. Now, many people look at this, as, and I should say it can be boring. It can be just, oh, I gotta do this again. Cause this is the thing that goes away. You gotta consistently do the same thing over and over and over, which 
reaches a point of stagnation, which reaches a point of boredom because it's just this thing. And some of the world's richest people have the most boring businesses. Some of the world's most richest people have the most boring businesses. It's the same thing day after day. There's really no excitement. And many people want to start a, an exciting business. They want to have something that's a gee whiz or the wow factor. And that is a impediment to success. I don't care how I get money. I really don't care. Except, you know, it must be legal, but I've learned to consistently do the boring things like um, Black Friday sale. Once again, today there's a Black Friday sale. You get 75% off the art of holding. And if you go over to Disruptive Mail, you get 80% off of 30 days to 2400. Now, it's the same thing year after year. If I do the same thing consistently with the same effort, I'll get similar results. But it's not like super exciting. It's really not. It is just, it's boring, it's predictable, but the results are very exciting. That's what I look at. That's one, you know, the, the process, the doing, that is not exciting. Uh, setting up a YouTube video. Uh, when I do, because I've been, if you notice, I've been doing a lot more videos. I got to film it. I got to edit it. I got to put some in there to make you guys hold your attention. I got in now because I've been doing live streams for so long. It's kind of fun now. But at one point it became very boring. It became very monotonous because it was the same thing. Do this, do this, do this, do this. So it's very hard to exhibit the behaviors over a long period of time that will get you results, even when you see the results, because your mind wants to move you to somewhere else. Your mind wants to bring you to some crazy stuff. Let me see what's in these comments here. What's up, Ricky? Cody? Cool Breeze? I am not doing a video on Velocity Blanking. I think that's some ghetto stuff. Once again, let's just talk about this. And this is the time thing. This is a good point. At one point, my time and time, my credit was bad. At one point, I couldn't get a bank account. So I tried all of these WASs, wild ass schemes, and I realized that I, had, I was wasting time that I wasn't doing it correctly. So forget velocity banking, set up your five checking accounts. If you got bad credit, go through the process of cleaning your credit, doing what you need to do. And you go through the process, newsflash, you're not going to do the same thing that got you in the first place. But when you fix it quick, have some scam or have some angle, more than likely you're going to get in the bad situation again, which wastes time because it's like people who buy cheap shoes, they're saving money, but they're messing up their feet. So all this money they save, they now have to go to some podiatrist to get their feet fixed, which it could be like three, four, five times the cost of good shoes. So they're saving time and saving money on the front end. But what about the back end? Going back to the diet, I eat good food. And if anyone tells you, that what you eat doesn't matter, they're crazy. I don't eat at McDonald's anymore. I I went to Taco Bell when I went to Vid Summit for the first time in like two years. Uh, I can do that every now and then, but because of the way that my bad eating habits had set up my body, I can't mess with that stuff too tough because I do eat it, I get sick. I get sick. So I can eat correctly, spend that money now, on the fresh cuts, the good food, the restaurants I go to are farm to table. Um, they don't mess up my stomach. I don't get sick. I don't gain weight. And it's expensive. Or is it cheap? Because if I keep eating that cheap stuff, I'm going to have all types of metabolic diseases later on that's going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to address. Or I could spend that money now, eat good work hard, make more money, and keep living well. 
See, that this is one of the things that gets people twisted because everyone's trying to save money, but you're not trying to make money. You're not trying to make more money. And this is the mindset that you must rid yourself of. What's up, Cool Breeze? Quality or quantity? Absolutely. Queen Ebony, you have no idea how much I need this video. I woke up feel like I was wasting time. Doing the proper things is not wasting time. It may seem like it because you have all of this hustler porn. You have all of these people who are doing these uh, amazing things. And it, they make you feel like I had someone post once I posted the numbers of what Americans are really making. And he was making $65,000 a year plus 10 to $13,000 a year hustling. So that's 75 to 80 K a year. And he, he felt bad because he didn't feel he was doing enough. People don't have the right information. So they develop the wrong perspectives and they develop the wrong attitudes. Cool breeze. You have to treat life like a carpet and engineer measure twice, cut once. I agree. Absolutely. Stay in the man. Yes, I need my freedom. Time is worth more than money. Time is the only luxury we have. And one of the reasons that time is the only luxury we have is it's a non-renewable resource. You move forward. You don't get to go back. You can't do seven over again. You can't do 12 over again. You can't do 18 over again. Once you've done 12, it's a wrap. You can only do 13. Or you can only do 15 or 16, because if you're not doing 15, you're dead. That's how time works. Gerald, um, we have been behind, so we should be addressing you this weekend. Excalibur, the message came right on time for me. I got to get more focused and starting working on my business. Awesome. Superstar Customs. I added up the time I wasted looking for tools and paperwork. I realized that not being organized cost me hundreds, if not thousands per month. I'm going to read this again. This is good stuff. I added up the time I was looking for tools and paperwork, and I realized not being organized cost me hundreds, if not thousands per month. Have you noticed that the best mechanics, their garage is spotless? Because they know that if, they're, if their tools are buried in the bin and they need that tool, it takes them longer to do jobs, and it makes their jobs higher costs, and people don't hire them. So that's a good look. Superstar Customs. I know, Cool Breeze. I know. Yeah, just copy. There should be like a little share button right below, a little arrow. Um, No. Uh, the five checking accounts, there's a video. Glendon Cameron, five checking accounts. There's a whole video on that. Tara Sanders, I think people are becoming professional time wasters. It's all about that Walmart rotisserie chicken. <laughs> I haven't been to Walmart in a while. I can't say what's good or not good with them. But I do, I can say that since I've changed my eating habits, when I eat something that's not good for me, I immediately feel it. I know that, oh, I can't eat this. Like I was in LA and how many of you heard of C's candy? I got myself some C candy in LAX. I ate that stuff and I got sick the first box. I ended up throwing it away because I can't eat that stuff anymore. Copper Corvette, the same things day to day and running businesses would make people hop all over the place. Yeah, because one of the big things is consistency and focus. When I was in that boarding house, one of my, uh, when I used to meditate really hard every day, it, my, my meditation world was focused because my focus was like scattered. I was over doing this. I wanted to do this. I didn't have a base. I didn't have a rhyme or reason. I, I was just existing. And I knew that was a problem. So I would sit there and I would meditate on the word focus. And that really pulled me in. 
and it, it got me off of these paths because like right now I'm focused on creating videos and I've seen a serious jump in the last two months by just focusing on videos, focusing on keywords, focusing on topics, focusing on playlists. I've seen the benefit because I focused and many people. And once again, um, trying to skip over that part. And if I can't get you to understand one thing, but this is when you do your own work and this is the stuff that's unpaid, this is the hours of research, this is the hours of study, you will find out things that other people don't know. Effective money-making things. Um, I'm in a group on Facebook, one of the few, I think it's the only other group of men, maybe two or three. And I, I contribute in there about video making. And every time I put up some about making money, someone wants to do a humble brag. A uh, guy came in and he was talking about he makes $500 a day. You know, he was making a thousand bucks a day from AdSense. And I had put up in there that I already know that these seasonal changes happen. Uh, we just had an election. So the election spin was crazy. Uh, we had, and now we're entering to Christmas that people are going to be spending money for Christmas promotions. And I had put in there that higher than this, right? And he was in such a hurry to say that he blah, blah, blah. And I cut him at the ankles and I just screenshotted and circled that I had put in what his comment was. And he was like, well, no need. I was like, you didn't read it, dude. You didn't read. It. And where I'm going with this is I make way more money than he does. But he's so caught up in what I call, I'm such a good YouTuber syndrome. There are many YouTubers who are now coming to this point of, I have all these subscribers, I have all these views, but I'm financially struggling. And then you have someone like me who literally has one-tenth of the subscribers, one-tenth of the views, but I make 100 times more money than they do power of focus i don't focus on being a good youtuber my focus is on being a great businessman that's my focus so and part of it is vanity because the vanity would be it would be nice to have all of these followers it'd be nice to have all of these views but consistently over time i realize that if i do those things my money's going to be chopped in it's going to be ridiculous i'm going for the money and you know, sooner or later, I'll get that play button, but I have to focus on that and let not let my mind slip into vanity metrics. There are people who would rather be poor and have high vanity. That is crazy to me, but you see it all over the place. Stan the man, what do you do when your routine starts to get boring in terms of business changing it up? I doubled down because that is a battle that I have to fight sometimes because I know what's going to happen when I stop doing what I'm doing. The business is going to slip. So I may reverse the order of how I do stuff. I may change my schedule. Like if I was working in the morning, I may start work at three o'clock that day. Um, I'll freshen it up that way. But the principles, the routines, stuff that still has to get done. It still has to get done. But that's a good question. Queen Ebony, do you have any tips on staying focused? You got to, one of the biggest things is, let's, let's, let's put it like this. How many of you have kids? And you, you know, your kid's like, ah, doing all this stuff. Then you take out your phone and you put a cartoon on and then instantly they're like, they got focus. So instead of trying to force yourself to do something that you don't want to do, find something that you like or love and focus on that. Cause it's, it's just going to be very hard to focus on something you hate. I wouldn't be here nine years. If I hated this, I wouldn't be doing as well as I am if I hated this. So find something that you want to focus on and never ever sell a product you don't believe in unless you're just hustling, you know, it's a temporary hustle, a few months, a few, a year. Okay, fine. But if you're going to be in the long term. Never sell a product that you you're not you don't love. It's going to come out.
Cool Breeze, I'd rather be paid than popular any day. Awesome. All right, so one of the big things is you have to audit your time. I can tell you how my week went by looking at my calendar. If you're not measuring your activity, if you're not measuring what you do, you are losing time and you're wasting time. I guarantee it. Because like today, I have the option of working out today. I worked out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Today is optional, but I will probably do a light workout. Now, when you start measuring stuff and you start to look at your workouts, because I, I write all my workouts down, I can look in my workout book, I can see days that, oh, I ate this bad thing and my strength was low or I didn't have energy for my workout. Or I can say like, oh, I gained two pounds. I know it's going to sound funny. When I gain two pounds, everything stops. This is a protocol. It's like, okay, two pounds, stop doing what you're doing, throw in some extra workouts. And this, because the thing is, set point. Your set point is really dangerous. Your set point can keep you from losing weight. So it's like, okay, if you gain a pound or two, you, you can lose that in a week, and it's not going to mess with your set point. But here's the thing. If I didn't measure, if I didn't weigh myself every morning, I didn't pay attention, that two pounds could have easily turned into 15 or 20 without me even really noticing it. That's why you have to audit your time. You have to audit your workouts. You have to, all your activity, you need to chart your activity. Because if you don't chart your activity and if you don't measure your activity, it's very hard to see where you're losing time and you're wasting time. You're just living. I guarantee you, you take a notebook or your phone and you start to chart every activity in your day, it will blow you away at how much time you are wasting. And like one of my productivity hacks is I don't have the Facebook app on my phones and I only have it open on one computer. At one point it was crazy. It's like both of my phones, I would, I would get some, I would look and I said, like, okay, this, this is the same. So I just took the apps off the phone and my productivity went up 7%. Because I, I, as a person who knows the dangers of social media, how seductive and how addictive it is, I monitor it, but even I still got caught up because they make Facebook addictive. They make it sticky. So take off all apps off your phone that you don't need. You know, you need your banking, your credit card apps, fine. But if, you know, you don't need it, just get off your phone. <laughs> Diane Orchard, think of being unemployed and broke. That keeps one focused. It keeps people who are our age focused. And a lot of younger folks, it doesn't matter. They still want to be off when they have no money. Congratulations, Dirk. MJ, my business partner's spouse is not organized. He gets upset when I tell him the lack of organization is costing the biz money. Recently, 3,000 invoices paid, yet only collected 400. Woo! Yeah! Yeah, you got to sit him down and have a hard, cold conversation with him because y'all just lost 2,600 bucks. Cool breeze. Damn, I've been missing having organization structure in my life. Being a truck driver sucks, but I'm working on making that change. So, yeah, I mean, one of the biggest things you can do is audit your time, audit what you're doing, audit how you're doing stuff, because what gets measured gets done. Someone had made a reference, be like an engineer or a carpenter. If you're not measuring your time, if you're not organizing your time, you're losing time. And there is an opportunity cost for organization because if you're not already organized, you're going to have to take a block of time to get organized. Um, one of the things that I've done, I like in here, it's a little sloppy, but it's still kind of organized. All right. Hold on a second. This leg keeps coming out. All right. Here we go. All right. 
one of the reasons I got this house was I needed more space, right? So let's see. We've got each station has, I'll do a studio tour, tour some other day. Each station has a purpose. Like that computer down there is my main editing computer. Now, this computer, let's say I'm doing a lot of videos and I shoot in 4K. This computer, I turn on my mobile hotspot to use it because when I'm uploading 4K, it takes all the bandwidth. But I can still be productive. And this camera is where I do a lot of shots. It's already set up. I just sit down and go. And this desk here, this is where I do a lot of live stream. I just sit down and go. Since I'm already set up and the green screen is come, I already bought it and I'm gonna start doing some green screens behind me. And essentially this is set up for productivity because I don't have to keep um, redoing stuff. And what I mean is I don't have to set up a studio. I don't have to reset up a studio. I can just sit down and go. And upstairs in the living room, there's another camera. So when I do videos there, I turn on the camera. I've got my audio up there. So essentially, I'm setting this stuff up for production of a lot of projects versus because when you're setting up and taking down, you're losing time. And I know this seems to be outrageously expensive, but the money that I make from YouTube bought all this. So and if you have a business, you need to put a minimum of 10 to 20 percent of what you make back in your business or you won't have a business. Uh, cool breeze. Both things in life fall in two categories. Either it's helping or hindering, like you said, when you have to audit just to find out which is which. And that's a big point, because, like, let's take. Last year when I was consulting and I had staff, one of the reasons, this is, and this is very interesting, I knew, I audited my time. I knew how much time it took to manage people. I knew how much it cost to have those two offices and, and then my original mortgage. By getting rid of everybody, and this is going to blow your mind, because managing people is a resource. And it, it takes a lot of time to manage people. And I had come out of my creative mode to manage people. And that's why when I let everyone go, it took me a while to get back into the creative mode. But because the stuff was measured, my offices were like 3,000 bucks a month. Overhead was like 30,000 a month. So that's $33,000 a month. Plus where I used to live, the mortgage there was 3,400. So we're almost at 40K a month, right? Plus, had no time. I was working more hours. Now, I moved. And since I got rid of those offices and rid of those employees, the cost of moving here from my other place was $550 a month. Plus, you know, the utilities and stuff are a little higher. Let's go ahead and say it was a $700 differential from my other place to here. So, I've saved, I've shaved off about $38,000 a month in cost. And now I'm almost back to what I used to make because I've become more efficient. So I'm almost back to what I was making with all those employees and with those offices because I was able to reclaim my time and start deploying deficiency protocols. That's the power of measuring your time, charting your time, and auditing your time. Because if I was just out there doing some, I wouldn't even know how much money I was blowing, how much time I was wasting. Where this, you, you got to measure your time. You got to audit your time. And as a consequence, I still work hard, and I'm still looking for a part-time assistant because I need one. But... I actually have more time off because when I was doing all that, I was working seven days a week, 18 hours a day. Now I'm down to 12 hours a week. Plus, it's a different level of stress because I don't have the organizational management stress of managing people, keeping up with time schedules, 
keeping up with uh, people to taking time off, looking after people, solving personal issues, all and on and on and on. Uh, Stay in the man. Glenn, it's a good idea to have a hustle while you build your business or you should focus on your business. You've never ran a business. The worst thing in the world you can do is focus on your business. This is, you know, I have another product I'm selling. And it's called Hustler H Undergrad Redux. And we're actually talking about becoming the boss right now. It is not about you being stupid. It is about you being inexperienced. There's a two to five year time period where one transitions from an employee mindset to a boss mindset. And you could easily have the business, but you could still have that employee mindset. So my advice to you is keep your job, start a hustle, get in your, your first goal is to get that hustle to a thousand bucks a month. Once you do that, then you wanna get it to 1500 to 2000. Then once you started to make, not once, not two, but three times what you were making on your job, you can now begin looking at quitting your job. So if you were making 5,000, you need to make 15 to 20,000 in your business. So hopefully those guidelines help you. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so that's really the gist of it and what you should and should not do. Now, today, and speaking of saving time, below is 75% off the art of hustling, the art of holding companies, which is a live product. And what I mean is there's a lot of stuff that's already in there, plus it will continue to grow throughout the year. Now, this is a, a big boy product. This is for someone who is not scraping it by. This is for someone who has excess and money and time so they can start to work on this. All right. Uh, Black Friday said this will be going on every day from now to next Friday, and there'll be different products on both channels. It won't be the same product on both channels. So if you want 30 days to 2,500, you need to go over to Disrupt Mail. If you want this product, you need to be here. Uh, the big boy products will be here. The smaller products will be over at Disruptive Mail. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Be sure to go below and get your free hustling books. And I am out. Today, business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel. They'll see me. And they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life because this is one of the things that i have learned when i was doing 30 days to 2500 i learned that there were some people who did better than others and i was like why are these people doing better than other people what's going on with these people and what I have discovered, and let's see, let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway 
because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you will do in your life. But once again, people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management is the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five check and account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked the a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming a Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right, this is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course, uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done. How to, what's the priority? What's not priority? This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you would get, Scripted Days. This is a life-changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits it will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual, a lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days to 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had a, a business or be a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. 
It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead. You know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, cause 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book, or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner. But essentially taking those lessons derived from that course, you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course. And who want to talk to me? Uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. After Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a Hard time starting that generator it wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm gonna do for the you know, starting next week, there's gonna be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video 
probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff, but the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2,500 and asking for the sale. Those only courses for business owners. Uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff, uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15 K and spent it all. People that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff. You want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I'm, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glendon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.